The Mac has historically been viewed as the computer that designers always prefer. This is mostly due to the Mac originating a graphical user interface for personal computers. This made it viable as a design tool earlier than Windows. But does the Mac provide anything for designers today that they can't find on a cheaper Windows-based computer? We're going to have a look at a couple of very small but quite significant features in macOS that can offer a significant productivity boost, depending on the type of design work you're doing. Even long-time users are often surprised by these. Dragging a file or folder around in the Mac Finder will move or copy it in exactly the same way as on a Windows system. But dragging a file or folder into an open application dialog box won't copy or move anything. Instead, it will cause the dialog box to change its focus. So rather than displaying the folder or file it was pointed at when it was opened, it will instead point to the folder or file that was dropped on it. Nothing is moved or copied, but the dialog box can now proceed with its intended purpose, focused on a new target, without any need to navigate through the folder structure first. Think about how often you need to bring one file into another. If you have a project folder open already, then the time you can save every time you have to open, save, or most significantly place a file adds up quickly, when you can simply grab the file you need from an open folder and drop it into the relevant dialog box, or grab the relevant folder you need to save it to and target it with a simple drag and drop action. Shaving several seconds off tasks that you may repeat dozens of times a day adds up to real time savings. There is also less cognitive disruption if you don't have to stop what you're doing to navigate the folder structure looking for a particular file or folder. You can just grab it from an open window or drop it into the dialog box. Another oft overlooked feature that actually goes quite comfortably hand in hand with the dialog box behavior is the proxy icon. If you look at the little icon displayed next to the name in most window title bars, the very top center of the window to the right of the red, yellow, and green traffic light buttons, you could be forgiven for thinking it's just decorative. But in fact, if you click directly on this icon, not the text, the icon, and hold for just an instant, you can then drag that icon from the title bar and it will behave as if you were dragging the document you have open itself. This is an enormous time saver if you need to edit or switch out placed graphics in an InDesign or Illustrator document. While you probably already knew that in InDesign you can simply option double click on a placed graphic to open it in the associated application without a need to visit the links panel, you can modify, resave your graphic, and when you return to InDesign, it will update to the new version automatically. You might not have realized that you can also drag and drop the proxy icon from Photoshop or Illustrator, provided you've got the application frame turned off in those programs, onto the original linked graphic in InDesign, and it will also update that way. So if you edit a placed graphic and need to resave it as a different file, for example, it was placed as JPEG, but your edits now mean you need to be PSD, you can just save the new file, drag the proxy icon back into InDesign, and it will update with the new file exactly in place with no need to navigate through menus or folders. And if you do happen to need to navigate through a file, open, close, place, etc. dialog, you can also drag the proxy icon there and have the dialog box switch to that file's location. It functions the same way as dragging an icon from the finder would. When the modern Mac operating system, OS X, was being developed some 20 plus years ago, Apple was still floundering and designers and artists were still one of their largest audiences. As a result, there was a lot of care put into building an operating system that would cater specifically to our needs. Many of these features do still remain, often completely unknown to modern users, 